This true story is about two brothers, David and Michael John Clark. I'm known as Clarky, and my brother, Mick Clark. We were notorious criminals in the 60s and were brought up in Aylesbury. Michael was born in 1946 in Oldham, Lancashire, and I was born in 1949. This story portrays a remarkable change that took place in my life the night of the 16th of January, 1970, that turned me around from a life of crime to something better. Michael continued his lifestyle of crime untouched until 30 years later. After my change of mind and outlook, I felt it right to confess to the police the 24 crimes that I had committed during a three-year career of undetected crime since leaving Dover Borstal in 1968. The chairman of the magistrates at my court appearance commented saying that my crimes over such a short period of time had been the worst they had to deal with. It was 30 years later, after Michael had been into various troubles in Thailand and finally in the Philippines, that he too turned his life around after serving five years of his 16-year prison sentence. This was after him reading C.S. Lewis's book, Mere Christianity, that had been given to him by a friend of his who'd been on death row for four years in New Bilibid Prison. As a result of this good news and shock of my brother's sentence, I published the first edition of my book, Converted on LSD Trip, and went to the Philippines to bring help and relief to Michael. We then began to work together to help in the reformation of other criminals and to work on this project. This project was called Trojan Horse International, Tulip Fields Incorporated. This was working with Michael and other inmates for four years in the prison until he died of tuberculosis, sadly, in 2005. Our story is told in our joint book, Trojan Warriors, that contains the testimonies of over 66 criminals who too had turned their lives around in the same way as Michael and I. It is this work that we wish to continue in our British prisons. The story demonstrates how one brother was saved from a life of crime and the other left to himself who ended up in prison in Asia's Far East and sadly dying of tuberculosis in the jail in May 2005. The story is real, remarkable and absolutely true and could be of help to all kinds of people, judges, magistrates, psychiatrists, psychiatric nurses, social workers, policemen, ministers of religion, teachers, probation officers. It's also been written with a view to help in the reformation of criminals and it would be useful to those living in the margins of society, along with unruly youths, drug users, hardened criminals, including chaps, hoodies, atheists, even agnostics. This third edition, now called the Book of Clarkey, has been specially prepared for prison inmates and addresses the helpful criticisms that were raised by prison chaplains editors, friends and others when looking at my draft edition of Converted on LSD. We have now put the story together as a punk rock opera and the prelude to this opera is to be performed by Asylum Seekers, a punk rock band from Gosport and is designed to be performed in our prisons in the UK. With the view to helping others. Over 400 copies of Converted on LSD Trip have already been requested by prison chaplains for prison inmates, including prisoners from HMP Belmarsh, Manchester Prison, Strangeways and Brisley and Parkhurst. With this in view, this special edition of our book has been written, now called the Book of Clarkey, with a view to help those who find our story interesting. Go to our website for information about our punk rock opera and its prelude to be performed by my good friend Mike Fisher and his band The Asylum Seekers. 
also to book the band to perform this set of punk rock classics with some of our original material at your function. www.asylumseekersuk.co.uk and www.trojanhorseinternational.com. <laughs> 